welcome back guys and wow look at this so uh, this armrest has had it in this captain's chair and I don't know if you've seen the other videos but last summer I did actually do a full I don't know a repair on it uh, with one of these eBay kits um, but there's nothing wrong with the kit the kit itself works fine but when I done it it was only a quick repair job that I done so I wasn't able to do a full investigation into the job but here was the problem and it's the nut within the, the frame um, it's no longer secure so there's only one way to get to that nut and to make it secure again and that's to strip the whole of the top half of the seat down completely so what I've got here is the plastic trim along the bottom of the fabric and it's a u-shape um, and it just slides into the other u-shaped plastic trim which is on the other half of the fabric so you'll see as it comes off here it kind of makes sense that there's two halves of the fabric on the plastic trim just interlocking so once all that's undone and all clipped off uh, and you've got the plastic trim off around sort of like the vandals there's a little 10 mil nut there we can take that off take the metal plate off that's for the adjustable handle you know that reclines the seats backwards and forwards um, and now once we've got that off we uh, we've got these little metal clips and these are a nightmare well they are and they aren't they they're stitched to the to the front side of the material but like on the inside and the metal strip comes through and yeah it clips into the metal frame just there so there's two of them one on the left and one on the right uh, and there's also another two uh, towards the top that come through again from the front side of the material comes through the foam um, and then clips to the rear of the frame Right, so just carefully here, slide the material up. Um, I was only sliding it up so far just so I could investigate and you know see if I could get in there and find a solution to fixing this. Uh, but we can see here straight away that well the foam's all torn um, and there was debris inside. I was having a look around. I was like, it looked like there was something in there. So I stuck my finger in. Yep, some double-sided sticky foam, some paper, bits of cardboard. Uh, so you know I was assessing the situation going right okay there's only one way to do this and that's to uh, completely take the whole seat apart and try in some way find some way of sort of like getting into that nut so the next thing to do here is to remove these handles on the back of the seat uh, there's little plastic clips either end uh, they just slide off you can see there with my fingers just pops off nice and easy and then pull the little bit of material back well the, the the vinyl and underneath there's a Phillips screw so just remove that and then once that's off we can then pull the material a bit further up um, and then you've got access to the headrest clamps the two plastic clamps uh, and they're easy enough to take out you just squeeze them and then they just pop straight up uh, I was able to get my hand up you know this has taken no special tools so far just a screwdriver um, to help with the clamp U clamps at the bottom uh, look, it, there you go there's the metal clamp there just above the spring coming through the, the foam um, I've used pliers to remove those little metal clamp bits those part part of the seats um, and yeah the 10mm spanner uh, I think it was a 5mm allen key to remove the armrests and then obviously the allen key and spanner just to remove the seat from this base so I could bring it into the house to do all of this so the easiest way I found with these headrests um, is you can bend them bend one side like towards you and then once that's bent in it's easier to get your finger up and unclip the opposite side I, it's really hard to explain but I you just can't get a camera in there either to show you but yeah so there's um what's happened is previous there's the original nut which was obviously welded on spot welded 
uh, the previous owners has obviously just bodged some sort of nut in there but it hadn't um, hadn't done the job it's not secure you couldn't tighten it up properly it was uh, flopping around which you could see in that video uh, and it just got looser and looser as time had gone on so it did need a proper fix uh, that's why we've stripped it all down and this is what I've done I've welded the nut onto a bit of flat bar welded the fat bar onto the frame all perfectly lined up and that'll be it the only thing is though is I don't know if you saw there but there was a weld right in the middle where that slot is um, I shouldn't have done put that weld there because I had to actually drill that out because that's where the armrest clamp lines up and sticks in so moving on to this next bit this is the uh, armrest itself and you can see here uh, one side is snapped and the other side is still on there uh, th there's no uh, debris of the snapped aluminium in the chair so they've, it's obviously already been previously removed and there's the eBay clip which I think was only like five six pounds or something for two of them uh, so I do have a spare one somewhere but yeah you can see it's not sitting flat uh, it's not flush at all because of that raised lip uh, what I'm going to do is is ideally it'd be better to raise it so that it's you know so the armrest sits the same distance away from the actual chair when you fit it um, but now as I've ground that back the armrest is actually going to sit closer to the chair so I, mean, I don't know if that's going to cause any problems but we'll have a look we'll see down the line so we can see uh, putting that bracket over it that it's a, it's a nice flush fit looks good happy with that so before we go on and fit this uh, I'd just like to say uh, if this is something that you uh, enjoy watching or you find interesting you may consider subscribing you never know I may have some jobs coming up in the future that may interest you um, I may have already jobs done and some videos in my playlists that may interest you so you know it's always worth subscribing and uh, checking out some more of my content all those people that have subscribed I really do appreciate that so yeah thank you a lot really does mean a lot to help the channel out help the channel grow and if you're also there helping the channel out why don't you uh, give it a thumbs up and why not share it with your friends okay so I'm gonna leave this here a little time lapse putting it all back together and then we will come straight back uh, with the seat fitted in the vehicle and we will see if this has fixed the armrests
All right, excuse the squeaky door, but now we've got the seat back in. It's all fitted. Just incline it a little bit back, and uh, yeah, look at that, mate. Solid. I don't want to put too much weight on it but I'll give it a proper test when we go out in it and just use it normally but you can see it is solid you know that the, the repair is probably more solid than the side that's nothing wrong with but yeah since um, since, since grinding that bit of the arm rest off it hasn't seemed to have affected it too much it is a bit closer but hasn't made too much of a difference looks good I'm happy with that that's a good job done so uh, thanks for watching uh, again consider subscribing thumbs up and I'll see you all next week with another video